I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. States. Donald Trump is unfit to be president. Crooked Hillary Clinton. Oh, she's crooked, folks. We will not build a wall. We're going to build the wall. Tax return. WikiLeaks. Deplorable. Russia. Emails. Robbing. Women. Stamina. Jail. Okay. I'd like to have the election tomorrow. I don't want to wait. After more than 18 months of campaigning, controversy, and contentious debates, Americans are ready to vote. If I'm pumped up, I know that Donald Trump's going to win by a landslide. I got it. Uh, I don't believe in polls. I can even show you how polls work. You know, being a veteran, you know, I fought for that right so you can go out and vote. I'm 68 years old. I'm waiting a lifetime to see a woman in the White House. And this is like, I can't wait. I can't wait till Tuesday. I want to make part of history. I've never felt this way um, before in an election. Never cared as much. I think maybe that's the difference in this one. I think it's made people care. It's been such just an angry election. There's just been so much hate rhetoric being kind of like spewed out everywhere. So this is the line Hillary doll. If you push her stomach in, she says 18 different lies. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been feeling very anxious because I see that the negative comments that Donald Trump has been making have actually filtered into my elementary school. So this is a really easy uh, uh, election for me. I, I know who I'm voting for. I do not think that the election is going to settle those feelings. This isn't about you, me, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. This is about bringing the country back and amending it back to the way we were. There has been a lot of divisive rhetoric in this campaign. I just, I think she's going to do amazing things for women and for children. The election is just going to make, it's just going to be one day. It's what are we going to do now for the next four years to kind of come together and, and fight some of the problems. The way we do that is by each person deciding the country is what is important. Once the process is over, once the American people have spoken, um, you just have to move on. It will take people a while to calm down. But I do think people will eventually come around and say, okay, well, it's not, that was not my choice, but for the good of the country, this is what I need to do. It's, it's a matter of personal responsibility. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, we love this country, and we have to find a way to find common ground to share in that love.